Welcome for the weather forecast for the week beginning. Get my words messed up. Thursday, November 14th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Friday, November 15th, we have a big uh, full moon. Beautiful looking out there. Should be clear, clear enough to really enjoy. Uh, sun spots activity is kind of meager finally. These have been pretty active, but uh, there's a new one coming around. Sunday, sunrise is back to 645, sunset is at 444, which soon I'm going to be driving home in the dark. We okay, had drought from previous week to this week with a good douse of water and some snow. Uh, much improvement. Let me go back again and then forward so you can see, yeah, a lot of backing off the worst. Longmont is now only in the uh, drought two level severe drought. Nationally, you can see the kind of the heartland here. Got a lot of relief with water coming in. Um, I'm kind of surprised that they have drought conditions here where the uh, Helene fell apart, but uh, I guess all that washed away very quickly and, and it's been hot and dry since. Smoke, a uh, nice break for uh, clean air nationwide. We'll go for that. Uh, last week to this week's snowpack was 146%. Uh, the main snow ha happened out on the plains, and uh, the lower elevation mountains have all kind of melted off already, so that's kind of the story. Looking at that last storm, uh, this is uh, inches of snow, uh, 2, 3, 2.2, right around Longmont here, uh, some 6 inch amounts up the hill above Boulder, but in Boulder it was more 2 to 4, 5 maybe. As you go down to the south, uh, east, it definitely picked up very quickly with, uh, I think I heard 21, 22 inches total snow for the week. And here's the liquid. We definitely got some good water. It was about a quarter inch, uh, two thirds of an inch of water and rain throughout this whole region. And some spots even close to an inch down here. And there you can see two to three inches out on the plains. Most of this came down as snow. It was closer to the cold core of the system. Places out from Lamar, Lyman, um, Trinidad, and New Mexico's Las Vegas, uh, 30, even 40 inches of snow, pretty staggering. Uh, the storm just didn't push this far northwest. Look at severe weather chances, a little bit on the uh, Carolinas, some Opposite coast getting some thunderstorms. Friday almost nothing, and Saturday we'll have a little bit in the plains of the front. Uh, here comes that front, but it's going to be dry. Utah's getting some snow, and then it comes to us with nothing to work with. All that moisture gets squeezed out. Temperatures are still expected. Temperatures are dropping very rapidly from 53 to 49. Nighttime temperature 25 down to 22. Little chance of some storm here, but that is a very big storm, but it's just going to be, again, too far to our southeast. <coughs> and, oh, that's not new, so never mind. Let's put it in motion. Here's our ridge departing with this trough coming in. That's going to drive the cold front through. Uh, you can see most of the energy is way down here in Mexico, over Baja and northern Mexico. Then it scoots up. Really strong storm. Probably get some severe weather, tornadoes and stuff like that. Uh, then a trough comes in. We just have north winds making it chilly midweek next week. Ridge always keeps trying to come back uh, over here in the west. That's what we've had for months now. And it's back again by the next weekend at the beginning of our fall break. So, looking at temperatures, see we're above normal except where the snowpack is holding on. That's a lot of snow. <laughs> it takes a while to melt that. Um, and then here comes that cold front. You can see it kind of cutting in here. And that low center goes way down to Mexico and gives them really cool temperatures. And then more cool air pours into the western states with a Another front that's beyond our forecast window, or it'll be in the next video. That's a pretty big front. That's going to push any th tropical stuff completely away. All right, take a looking. Take a look at uh, 
the precipitatable water. This is kind of like the water vapor image that we didn't get. And yeah, there's not much. That storm goes up and we just have dry air coming behind it. Dew points also, it's a lot of moisture with that snow that's melting. And then we have moisture that's just in from the Gulf, just barely here. You can see the surge coming up with that system. Really high dew points pulled out of the ocean here. And then it all gets pushed away as that low goes up into the Great Lakes. And we get really, really dry. I mean, that one, zero dew point has really bone dry air by the end of next week. Okay, let's take a look at these storms. There has been hurricane forming down here and coming up and hitting Florida and various scenarios and seems to be gone now. So that's kind of nice. Here comes the system down in Mexico. You can see snow in New Mexico. There's your huge storm outbreak. And the way it goes, it just kind of skirts, gives us some mountain snows behind it. But that is all. And then it's dry and quiet for a long time beyond that. So we'll go into next weekend. Boy, I just would like a little bit more water. It's give us some snow. It'll feel like it's fall going into winter. There's another one that doesn't seem to quite come down on the plains. And that's the end. So you can see this huge cutoff between big storm and look at that, they get more water and nothing at all. It's just going to skirt by. It could shift 50 miles either way. Probably pretty set pattern there. We'll see. Looking for snow, just a little bit in the upper mountains. Uh, <coughs> bring 10 days in, and that's that second little mountain thing that eh, puts a little precipitation down. That'd be nice if it's real. But the snow is higher elevation stuff again. So got 50s, briefly 60s on Thursday. Cool down to the uh, 50s, upper 40s for the weekend. And then the cold front comes in. Little teeny chance of showers, snow in the mountains. And we are cold with a north wind uh, coming in behind the system. The two, week two outlook, that's eight to 14 days from now. Huh, at least they don't have us hot and dry. They have near normal for us with below normal temperatures down here with those big old cold fronts. And near normal uh, in this little ribbon through here. So, all right, I can take near normal. That, that's okay. So that's it. Uh, this has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth wishing you to be able to keep looking up.